All right, welcome back to the second half of applying sine, cosine, tangent ratios with Mr. Muscarella and Pythagoras. Now, just remember, sine is the ratio of opposite over hypotenuse, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, and tangent is opposite over adjacent. And again, a lot of math teachers, they'll use that acronym, SOCATOA. All right, so that's one way to keep those straight. Now, we're going to go ahead and take a look at one of the very key things that we're going to deal with here with word problems. We're going to deal with two new words. One of those words is angle of elevation and the other word is angle of depression. Now the angle of elevation is going to, in both of these, it's going to kind of depend on where the observer is. The angle of elevation is going to always be down in the bottom part of something because you're going to be looking up to some sort of object when you have the angle of depression you're going to be up in some object somewhere and that angle right here is going to be your angle of depression so the angle of depression is going to be looking down on something and the angle of elevation is going to be looking up on something so those are two key words that are going to play a part here in a lot of the trig problems where you're solving right triangles now for this piece here So why don't we take a look at example number six. Here we want to build a skateboard ramp with a length of 14 feet and an angle of elevation of 26 degrees. Find the height and the length of the base of the ramp. So what I want you to do is take those two numbers, 14 feet and your angle of elevation of 26 degrees. After you draw the right triangle, I want you to put those two numbers in where you think they go on the triangle. So how would you do? 14 feet is the length of your ramp, so that's going to go along the hypotenuse. 26 degrees is your angle of elevation, so that's going to get tucked in away there. Now I'm going to use the variables B and H to represent the base of the ramp and the height of the ramp. So after we've got our key and our picture done, what I want you to do is based on where 26 degrees is, we're going to label these three things. Hypotenuse is going to be the 14 feet, that's the length of our ramp. B is the adjacent to side to 26 degrees and H that's going to represent the opposite side of 26 degrees because that's going to tell me which trig ratio I'm going to use for for each one of these now first thing I'm going to do I want to find the base so if I want to find the base then I'm going to have to use so I'm going to go after this guy here first is the base to find the base I'm going to have to make sure that I use B with 14 or that's the adjacent and the hypotenuse so if I take a look at my trig ratio sine cos and tangent which one deals with adjacent and hypotenuse well if you said cosine good for you so to find the length of the base what we're gonna do is go ahead and set up the trig ratio cosine of 26 equals B over 14 Cross multiplying both sides by 14, I get 14 cosine 26 equals B. Now before we go put it in our calculator, let's just double check our mode is good and everything. So I want you to hit the mode button and make sure your mode says degree. Now the next thing I want you to do is go ahead down and float. Just go ahead and put that on float. So I want your calculator to be set up just like mine. After our, we make sure our mode is set up correctly, we're going to go ahead and type that in, 14 cos 26, into our calculator, and you'll end up with a value of 12.58 and so on. So we're going to write that down for our base. So 12.583 is about what our base is. Now we'll do a similar thing when we go to find out what the height is. Now for the height, this time, where the height is, the height is over here. So I'm looking at the opposite. And I'm going to deal with the opposite, and I'm still using hypotenuse. So the opposite and hypotenuse, those are both going to be using the trig function. Which trig function is opposite and hypotenuse? That would be the sine function. So to find the height, first thing we'll do is we'll have sine of 26 equals h over 14. Then when you cross multiply, and key that into your calculator, you get about 6.1372. Now we're not done yet because most people will stop there and that's a common error alert. So make sure you go back and you write a sentence 
that answers the question. Now, when you go to write your sentence, notice the units that were given in our original problem. It says 14 feet. So when we write our sentence, we want to round it to the nearest whole number, or maybe the nearest tenth, and then we're going to go ahead and include units in our answer. So don't forget, make sure you write a complete sentence and include units to answer the question. The base is about 12.6 feet long, and the height of the ramp is about 6.1 feet. So that's it for example 6. Pretty straightforward, just make sure you set up your trig ratio correctly, but the challenge with this is making sure to set up the correct trig ratio. The rest of it is going to be pretty straightforward algebra. Lastly, don't forget to write a sentence. Now let's take a look at example number 7. In this example, here you're going to be skiing down a mountain with an altitude of 1,200 meters. The angle of depression is at 21 degrees. About how far do you ski down the mountain? So here's kind of a representation of our mountain. What I want you to do is fill in those numbers 1,200 meters and 21 degrees to where you think they should go. So how did you do making that drawing? Hopefully you got the 1200 and the 21 degrees in the right spot because our angle of elevation or our angle of depression is 21 degrees and our altitude is 1200 meters. Delete left begin explanation. So the 1200 meters goes on the left side of the picture and then our angle of depression of 21 degrees goes there. Now from here what we're going to do the angle of elevation and the angle of depression they're the same value so what we're going to do next is go ahead and we're going to add a key because what we're trying to figure out is how far do we ski down the mountain so that's going to be this piece right here how long is that? I don't know so we're going to come up with a key and we're going to call that D for the distance down the mountain and then 21 degrees is going to be the same for your angle of elevation and your angle of depression. So we're going to use a trig ratio now to figure out how long down the mountain we, we uh, skied our little heads off. So 21 is here, 1200 is opposite, so I'm going to write OPP over there, and then the D is going to be our hypotenuse. So those are the two key pieces. We've got opposite and hypotenuse. Well, what trig ratio uses that? Yeah, by now I think you're getting the hang of it. That's going to be sine. So we're going to have the sine of 21 degrees is going to be equal to the opposite, well that's 1200 meters, over D. And I don't know what D is. So this is going to be four steps all together. We're going to cross multiply and get D times the sine of 21 is going to be 1200. And I'm going to get rid of the M for meters for right now. After that, we're because we're trying to solve for D, we're going to divide both sides by sine of 21. So we're going to get D equals 1200 over sine of 21. Now here's where we're going to go ahead and put in our calculator. So you go ahead and do that. And I'll do that as well. And we'll come up with a value for whatever that is. So according to our TI8384 calculator, 1200 divided by sine of 21 gives us about 3348.513 blah blah blah. So that's how much we get for that value. Now the next thing we got to do of course is answer the question. So based on that information we got there, our question would be answered using the following type of sentence. We went about 3348.5 meters down the mountain. That's quite a bit. So Make sure we answer that in a complete sentence and be sure that you include the units. All right, that's it for the second installment of working with sine, cosine, and tangent trig ratios. So thanks for watching this one. And you guys, I'll see you again real soon in the next one. Have a great day, and I'll catch up with you soon. Peace.